Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm here to talk to you about high school. But before I talk to you about high school, I want to talk to you about something Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote about in, 18, in 1941. No, well, what? 1841, sorry. Whoa. Ugh. Anyway, what Emerson wrote about was what he called self-reliance. The idea that we don't have to subscribe to factory culture. We don't have to sit in straight lines and color within the lines. I'm going to argue that every single one of the people in this room is self-reliant. We reject the ideas that the people around us are trying to force onto us. We are trying to be individuals. We don't want to color with, within the lines. We are non-conformists. Anyway, so that, I call these people hackers. I think that hackers reject this idea. I think that hackers are people who don't actually, who don't care what the rest of the world thinks. They want to create a better product. They don't want to be influenced by others. They reject the idea of TPS reports. They don't sit in cubicles all day. They build something great. So anyway, they reject the idea of TPS reports. Unfortunately, high school is designed for people who love TPS reports. It was built by people like uh, John D. Rockefeller and Andrew Carnegie to create a more productive factory worker at the turn of the century. They wanted to create people who did what their parents were doing, but better. So, what can we learn? As hackers in high school, we can learn that about clients and we can learn about we can learn about clients and we can learn about hard work. Yeah. So, clients. <laughs> you have two clients when you're in high school, your parents and your teachers. When you're writing an essay, you're writing an essay to please your English teacher, not to make myself happy. I'm writing my essay for Mr. Scotch, not for me. But when we think about clients, we can think about something else. We can think about clients that are good clients and clients that are bad clients. We want clients that are willing to have an argument with us. We want clients that are going to listen to us and give us feedback. Clients who are going to have an argument with us because that way <laughs> we can make a better product. This brings me to the story of Ross Abrams. Ross Abrams is one of the best teachers I've ever had. Ross Abrams came into class one day with a large stack of lesson plans. Lesson plans for an entire month, all designed to teach us about Shakespeare. But before he began his lesson, he said, does anyone want to learn anything else? Do you want to propose an argument as to why I should throw out this month's worth of lesson plans about Shakespeare and why we should read something else? What should we learn? We ended up reading the Bible as literature, and we all got a lot more out of it because we were learning what we wanted to learn, not what the system wanted us to learn. We were all hackers in that moment. We were rejecting the ideas of the, those around us. So that brings me to my second idea. The second idea is the idea <sighs> So this brings me to the idea of hard work. This is the Borelli Fruit Man. The Borelli Fruit Man lives eight hours outside New Delhi, India. He doesn't have electricity in his house and he makes less than $3 a day. But every day he goes to the square and he sets up a little tiny pile of fruit out in front of him and he tries as hard as he possibly can to sell that fruit because he needs to put food on the table. And the thing is, he's happy. He's making $3 a day and he's happy. We should be happy too. We need to stop complaining, sit down, and do work. We need to sit down and actually get something done. Now this brings us back to Emerson. Emerson said that if we are self-reliant because we're rejecting the ideas of others, we can't rely on others to pick up the slack when we're lazy. So we can't be lazy. Thanks, I'm Alex.